27 News WKOW. Here's what's happening right now. Their son is in custody after detectives say he lied to them. And tonight, a friend of a Windsor couple that disappeared speaks to 27 News. I worry about or think about you know, all the other residents that are at the answer. The community is still in shock as the investigation continues. And will home court advantage be enough to get the Bucks a win in Game 3 of the NBA Finals? We have live team coverage from Milwaukee. We've got you covered. This is 27 News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Katie McCall. This is a special edition of 27 News. We are on a half hour early tonight. That's because our Bucks pregame special is coming up at 530. Then stay with us as Milwaukee tips off at home against Phoenix at 7 o'clock. Our team is standing by at Pfizer Forum. We'll get to them in just a moment. But first tonight, we are following new developments in the disappearance of a couple from Windsor. Sheriff's deputies found what they called unidentifiable remains last week and arrested the couple's son. Today, deputies executed executed a search warrant on Bart and Krista Halderson's home. Rhonda Fox has been tracking this case and spoke with a friend of the couple. Dane County Sheriff's cruisers and several other unmarked cars were parked outside the home of Bart and Krista Halderson. Nearly two weeks after the couple disappeared, detectives confirmed for us their investigators carried out a search warrant at the Halderson residence. What they found remains a mystery, as does what happened to the couple, whose son Chandler Halderson is under arrest for allegedly lying to police. As the investigation continues, friends say they're still in shock about this entire incident. It just seems so immediate that something like this would have happened. Now, obviously, we don't know all the details yet. Bob Whipperfirth has worked with Bart and Krista and speaks highly of the missing pair. I think they were outstanding citizens of our community. You know, we need more people like that in all of our communities. Whipperfirth says neighbors in Windsor are distraught over the case and eager for answers. Sometimes waiting can be hard, uh, but it's better to wait and have the correct answers than to assume something and then have that be wrong. Well, you think about the family and what they're going through. And so again, we want to extend our thoughts and prayers to the family, everybody that's been impacted to friends and neighbors. In Windsor, Rhonda Fox, 27 News. The couple's son Chandler was arrested on Thursday. He is accused of providing false information regarding his parents' disappearance. Halderson has not been charged in connection with that case. He's expected to appear in court tomorrow. Right now, four Madison churches are hosting a public COVID-19 memorial at the state capitol. It started just a short time ago. The memorial is a public service of mourning, remembrance, and a celebration of life for those lost to the virus. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway will also be speaking. Dane County is now seeing an uptick in COVID cases. Health officials say 26% of new cases are the Delta variant. Cases are rising quickly in a number of states across the U.S. due to that variant, including nearby Illinois and Michigan. But UW Health Dr. Bill Hartman says with 50% of Wisconsin fully vaccinated, he does not expect huge spikes here in the future. Where there's pockets of people that are unvaccinated, that you're going to see outbreaks of the, the, this COVID Delta variant. Um, it seems to want to uh, target people who are unvaccinated and uh, those people obviously don't have any protection against it. Dr. Hartman says while we may experience more cases, the surge will not be similar to the one we experienced last winter. Right now, state health officials say 2,400 people have COVID-19 in Wisconsin. 75 are in the hospital, down 10 from last week. No deaths have been reported since last Tuesday. As we head into the evening, most of us are staying dry, but there is a chance for a shower or two across southern Wisconsin. Meteorologist Blaze Keller is tracking those chances right now. Hey, Blaze. Hello. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This has been a very challenging forecast because cutoff lows, uh, they do not really act like normal low pressure systems. They're cut off from the jet stream, and they move really at their own accord, rotating on themselves until they get pushed out. And this is the main little area that we're watching. It's going to dig its way south and then eventually push north and east so that's why we've watched that cloud line kind of linger across some of our southern counties bringing some of us some rain but then elsewhere we've been sitting underneath plenty of sunshine and uh, our models don't get a good read on these either so it's it's very tricky but nonetheless we have squeezed into the upper 70s to low 80s across the forecast area 
Yesterday at this time, I would have said we weren't really going to climb into the upper 60s. We topped that by almost 10 degrees, if not blew past that in some places. So again, it's just been tricky, but uh, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a hint. I am going to be giving away some money later tonight, later in the show, and we'll uh, cover it back at 10. So there's a look at some of the breezy conditions today. We'll have your next week's forecast coming up in the full forecast. Not a lot of people afraid of winning any money, no, right? No, certainly not. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that. <laughs> Well, these folks uh, had some adverse weather. The wind was a little too much to handle for boaters on Lake Mendota. The final day of races for the 2021 Inland Lake Yachting Association Championship had to be canceled. The races started Friday on the lake. Kids and adults from all across the Midwest competed in races all weekend. Yesterday, we did three races, three successful races, and we're planning two more for today. We finished one successfully, but the second one had to be canceled for high wind. Some people, a lot of people tipped. They had to come in. So while they couldn't sail today, they did give out the awards from the weekend. The sailors are now headed to Iowa for the next leg of the championship next month. Tonight is the night we've all been waiting for. The NBA Finals have come to Milwaukee. The Bucks are hoping to turn the tables on the Suns, and this time they have home court advantage on their side. We are less than two hours to tip off, and George Smith is live outside of Fiserv Forum where the gates have just opened up to let the fans in. George, what's the mood like out there? Well, Katie, here we go. As you said, just two hours away. Let the party begin. Fans are excited. There's tons of energy here. The gates uh, here to the Deer District just opened a few moments ago, and perhaps you can sense the excitement out here and hear the music in the background. The Bucks in the NBA Finals for the first time in 47 years. We spoke with a lot of fans out here who are still confident despite the 0-2 hole, and we did talk with a fan who remembers the last time the Bucks were in the NBA Finals. I was still a little kid back then. I was like seven. I mean, anyway, it is a good feeling, though. It is a really good feeling. Now, having the finals here in Milwaukee gives this city another chance to be in the national spotlight. Pfizer Forum was supposed to host the 2020 Democratic National Convention. Of course, then COVID hit. The event was moved a few blocks down the street to the Wisconsin Center, and it was mostly virtual. Tourism officials say just a few hundred people showed up, not the 50,000 that they were expecting. So the big business boom that everybody was hoping for never happened. It felt like a gut punch um, on top of, you know, the pandemic, which had made us all so weary um, by that point. Um, so for the Bucks to get this far, for their organization to have activated the city that they have done, um, has just been so incredible. Those are here in town. The hotels are packed up. Tourism officials say that a regular season game has a $3 million economic impact on the area. That goes up to $3.7 million for a playoff game. And that does not include the parties that have been here outside of Pfizer Forum for games one and two. In any case, we're less than two hours away from the tip-off, the first home game in the series. You can feel the energy, the excitement, the dancing. It's a party out here right now. Katie, let's go back to you. All right, George, thanks. We're going to check back in with you in just a little bit. He will be back live from Milwaukee for our Bucks pregame special. That begins at 5.30 right after this newscast, followed by a special Jimmy Kimmel Live NBA countdown, and then, of course, the game. Coming up next at 5, Richard Branson makes it to space and back in a rocket plane. How the test flight went today and the billionaire's next step in his quest to launch a space tourism industry. Plus, a police raid stops what investigators fear could have been a mass shooting in Denver. What they found and who is in custody. And record-breaking heat out west continues the danger level right now and how it's making wildfires worse. Call locally owned and operated Mosquito Joe of Madison and get your first mosquito control application for only $49. Synthetic and natural treatment options available. Mosquito Joe of Madison. We make your outside fun again. Hey everybody, Dr. Rob here, Pro Health Chiropractic. And I'm here today to talk to you about something new we've added to our office. It's called the Pro Adjuster 360. We have the spine and the joint options here. First, we're going to talk about the spine. If we scan the spine, it gives us an area where we might need to adjust, so the higher bars will indicate that. 
And then we go in here to adjust the spine and it'll automatically shut off when it feels something shift or move. Now, a lot of chiropractors still do the old fashioned popping, cracking, twisting, which is totally fine, it works, but this is another option if you don't want to have the popping, cracking, twisting, or turning. So we go back then and we reanalyze and we want to see the bars be lower, tighter, and more together, and we definitely got that accomplished. A lot of people will come in, they don't think chiropractors can help with their joints. We definitely can. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles. Jerry was telling me earlier we had an issue with the shoulder. So we go in and we do a test measurement and then we do the adjustment and it stops automatically. And then we do a post analysis and it shows us exactly what's happening with the shoulder. If you like what you saw and you think we can help, give us a call here at Pro Health Chiropractic. Either myself, Dr. Madison, or Dr. Jackie would be happy to help you. It's your turn. Five, four, three, two, one, we have liftoff. When you turn on your AC this summer, you want to be sure that it works and works its best. Call Dale's to see how an upgrade or regular maintenance can save you money and keep you cool this summer. Get your outdoor living space ready for summer with help from Menards. Start cleaning up with a new pressure washer. They save time and restore your home's curb appeal instantly. Get 11% off on all Briggs & Stratton, Snapper, and Brute pressure washers. We stock the best selection of outdoor power equipment so that you can take on your toughest jobs. Save today and get 11% off all works outdoor power equipment now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Everyone loves the new hit show that's perfect summer viewing. Yeah. It's a wild ride you can't look away from. I like bad boys. Oh, do you? <laughs> I'm a bad boy. <laughs> the Celebrity Dating Game, Monday on ABC. Welcome back tonight. Billionaire Richard Branson and his crew of five are back on Earth after successfully traveling to the edge of space this morning. I have dreamt of this moment since I was a kid, and but honestly, nothing could prepare you for uh, the view of Earth from space. Branson is now the first person to blast off in his own spaceship. The trip was a historic step in commercial space travel. We've got to all be doing everything we can to help this uh, incredible planet we live on. Um, I will devote the rest of my life doing that, and, and, um, and I think other people who go to space with us will devote the rest of their lives doing that. Just incredible. High winds delayed their liftoff by about 90 minutes. The team traveled more than 53 miles above the Earth's surface. The crew was able to unstrap and experience weightlessness for several minutes during this voyage. Virgin Galactic says it will soon start flying, paying customers to space on similar trips. Well, back here on Earth, we are still talking about that cutoff low and what it means for your upcoming work week. We'll break it down in the full forecast after the break. Hi, Dean. How you doing? Stressed out. I'm turning 65 this year, and I'm so confused about Medicare. I called Benny Insurance, and they came to my home and educated me on the four parts of Medicare for free. I'm still working, so I don't need Medicare. Benny Insurance showed me how to postpone Medicare without any penalties. I have a lot of expensive medications, and the Binnings found me a plan that cover all of my medications. Sounds like I need to call Binning Insurance. Remember, you're winning with Binning. More than ever, America needs healthcare workers. So if you're ready to answer the call, Herzing University empowers you to earn the skills you need for all kinds of healthcare careers, including programs that can be completed in 10 months. Accredited and transfer-friendly, Herzing provides the personal care and support you need to succeed. We'll even waive your enrollment fee. Your nation needs health care workers. Join the movement at Herzing University. Call or click today. Get the refrigerator you've always wanted now at the Brothers Main Big Big Deal Refrigerator Sale. You'll save big on every Samsung refrigerator in the store. Like the coolest French door, black stainless, and smart refrigerators that do it all. You'll get more with our risk-free 30-day price satisfaction guarantee. Because we want you to be 100% confident with your refrigerator. That's how we do it at the Moore Store. It's the Big Big Deal Refrigerator Sale. With more selection, more savings, and more big, big confidence. Only at the Brothers Main. Your local store for more since 1938. I told my mom at six years old, I was like, I'm going to be a meteorologist. Everyone at that point is like, sure you are, okay. And I just never let the dream go away. 
a small chance for rain on Saturday. The most rewarding part of my job is I get to influence and impact people every single day. Educate them. This is the model initializing. Make them smile. Make them laugh. It's Friday. It's Friday. I want to influence you in a positive way every day. Cell phone video shows officers in SWAT gear in the lobby of a hotel in downtown Denver after a hotel employee found more than a dozen weapons and more than a thousand rounds of ammunition inside one of the rooms on Friday night. Local law enforcement sources told our Denver affiliate they initially feared someone was planning what they called a Las Vegas style shooting at the nearby MLB All-Star game coming up on Tuesday night. Police removed 16 long guns, body armor and more than 1,000 rounds of ammo from the room which featured a balcony overlooking the downtown area. Four people were arrested. Thank you to whoever reported what they saw because they could have circumvented a catastrophe. KMGH is reporting one of the people arrested posted a Facebook message referencing a recent divorce and saying he was going to, quote, go out in a big way. The FBI said today they are not aware of any threats to the All-Star game and have no reason to believe Friday's arrests are connected to that game. Madison police need your help to catch a man who severely beat a 29-year-old man in downtown, leaving him unconscious. It happened around 2 o'clock this morning. Police arrived at the 200 block of State Street. The victim of the assault was seriously injured but still breathing. Witnesses say they saw a man punch the victim before taking off. They are still searching for that man tonight. Beloit police tell us they have a 12-year-old in custody tonight and are looking for several other suspected car thieves. Officers found a stolen car at Whipple Street and Moore Street with several juveniles fleeing from that scene. Police are asking for video of that group to help identify them. You can call Beloit PD or message them on their Facebook page. Madison firefighters are reminding people to be careful with candles tonight after one caused a fire on the city's east side. Early this morning, a neighbor saw flames and smoke on North Street and called 911. Investigators say a candle set an upholstered chair on fire and that fire quickly spread. Everyone was able to get out safely. A house fire in Janesville displaced four people, and the American Red Cross is now helping that family. It happened last night on North Sumac Drive. Three departments responded to put out the fire, but it caused $60,000 worth of damage, and the cause is still under investigation. Much of the American West is now dealing with its third dangerous heat wave so far this summer. 32 million people across several western states are under excessive heat warnings with temperatures in the triple digits. Death Valley comes within a few degrees of the hottest temperature ever recorded anywhere in the world. Even animals that are suited for a hot climate can still struggle in such extreme temperatures. Unlike us, many of these animals can't sweat. So you're going to see some interesting behavior. You might see some flat squirrels laying out on the sidewalk. You might see some birds open mouth and panting percent of the West is under a drought right now, 93 percent. That is not helping the dozens of fires that are burning. The Beckworth complex fire on the California-Nevada border has burned more than 55,000 acres. In Oregon, the bootleg fire is threatening power lines that carry energy to the state of California. Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Well, Diane sends us this photo of Jeremiah. This is a bulk frog. He is not a friend of many in the Lake Kaganza area because he is apparently very loud. Uh, but she sent us this photo of him yesterday. Now, did you know that the American bullfrog as a tadpole will stay a tadpole for about two to three years, being one of the largest, if not the largest tadpole in kind of the amphibian uh, family? But... Many amphibians, like frogs, how they swallow their food because they eat it whole is actually their eyes push it into their throat and then it goes into their stomach. So again, you come for the animal facts, but you stay for the weather. And we're dealing with a low pressure system that is cut off from the jet stream. The actual jet is off into parts of Canada. That means that this low is cut off from it. So how does it move? Well, it spins on itself. And so that's why it takes a long time to move out of an area once it gets cut off, which is why we're still dealing with the potential for some showers across some of our southern counties. 
It will dig a little bit farther south or move farther south before eventually pushing off to the north and east, which means that we're going to be potentially dealing with kind of passing clouds here and there, as well as scattered light rain showers over the course of your Monday and your Tuesday as well. Right now, most of the rain is off towards, say, Milwaukee, as well as off towards Kenosha, where they really need the rain. But we may start to see some of those scattered showers move into our forecast area or more of our area as we head overnight and continue into your Monday. It's 84 in Duluth, 78 in Camp Douglas, where we're dealing with that cloud cover. As I said, 72 in Kenosha, 75 in Janesville. Closer to home, 78 in Reedsburg, 73 in Mineral Point. A mix of sunshine as well as maybe partly sunny skies. We topped out at, at least for now, 78 in Madison. Notice our dew points, though. Kind of a little bit low off towards, say, Middleton, Madison, as well as Mineral Point, but hanging out in those 50s. So there is moisture for these rain showers to use. It's just we need to get that energy to move back overhead. And so as this low begins to make its more northeasterly track, we're going to watch as some of that energy spills from, say, the southeast towards the northwest. I think we'll maybe see more of that shower activity. Again, it's going to be very light and isolated in nature as we go into the second half of your Monday. We'll continue to see that threat overnight Tuesday and into say your Tuesday afternoon. Again, these are going to be very light. Not everyone will see these raindrops, but if you do, it might help to green up the grass a little bit. Uh, and then we'll see a better chance for some rain actually as we go into the middle of this upcoming work week, mainly looking at Wednesday night into Thursday. We'll hang out in the upper 50s to low 60s tonight, mid 70s for your Monday. 80s return by Tuesday. We'll stay in the 80s as we go into the rest of this week. And again, I was off by a degree. So, Rick, congratulations. $432 are now yours. We get frog facts, and we get weather, and we get money. I mean, what, what more can you trades. ask for, what, right? Exactly. That exactly. eyeball thing is fascinating. Frogs are weird. I love them, but they are weird. <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Pablo Iglesias. We are live in Milwaukee, just ahead of a pivotal game three of the NBA Finals. The Bucks are back at home, and they're hoping that home court plays a huge advantage for them. We'll talk about that in sports. Call locally owned and operated Mosquito Joe of Madison and get your first mosquito control application for only $49. Synthetic and natural treatment options available. Mosquito Joe of Madison. We make your outside fun again. It's time again to roll up your sleeves and head to Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We're your summer lawn and garden experts, offering genuine values on everything you need to make, maintain, and enjoy your ideal yard. Like assorted bags of mulch, four for 10 bucks. Estate all-natural fertilizer is only $9.99. Extend outdoor power with 50-foot extension cords, just $44.99. And new at Blaine's, this Charbroil six-burner gas grill is $80 off. Find value at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. My mother died due to neglect in a nursing home. It was devastating. Bowler and Vaughn dove into the case, uncovered details. Bowler and Vaughn fought for us and gave us the answers we needed. Treat yourself and the people you love with chocolate from the Chocolate Caper. Known for our world-famous pralinés, these decadent candies come in three chocolates and four flavors, starting at $5 a box. Only available at the Chocolate Caper. Try them today. You'll be happy you did. A good night's sleep starts on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. During Steinhoffels 4th of July mattress sale, we have all the best brands in stock and on sale, so you can try before you buy. Plus, with Steinhoffels special 60-month financing and free delivery, buying a new mattress has never been easier. And with Steinhoffels 120-night sleep guarantee, you can't make a mistake. Only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. For breaking news, weather alerts, and daily updates, sign up to get top stories sent right to your inbox. Go to WKOW.com slash emails to sign up. 27 News. We've got you covered. Now, 27 Sports with Sports Director Lance Fieser. The Bucks are in must-win territory as the NBA Finals shifts to Milwaukee here tonight. The Bucks are favored at home against the Suns. Pablo Iglesias joins us live from Pfizer Forum to explain just what Milwaukee needs to do to avoid a dreaded 0-3 series deficit. Pablo, what do they have to do tonight? 
Lance, I'll just put it lightly. The Phoenix offense has been sizzling so far. And yes, the Bucks have been in an 0-2 territory this postseason. But I will tell you this, it's going to take a lot for this team to come back from this deficit. Now, the Suns are shooting the lights out from downtown. Phoenix went on a tear, shooting 50% from beyond the arc. They dropped 20 triples in game two and took advantage of second chance opportunities that led them to the 118-108W. Now, I'll just tell you this, the Bucks will need to reapply some heavy sunscreen in order to avoid being burned again. You gotta keep staying aggressive. Um, going back to Milwaukee, you know, we've been here before. We know what the deal is. Uh, and hopefully our good habits, you know, throughout the year can, you know, take over and now uh, we can put ourselves in a position to win the game. Well, we know, we know what the deal is. Now, it's not impossible for them to come back, but I just will say the odds are stacked against them. Only four teams in NBA Finals history have come back to win after trailing 0-2. Now, if the Bucks want to become the fifth team in NBA history, they're going to have to start getting to work later tonight. Reporting here in Milwaukee from the Pfizer Forum, I'm Pablo Iglesias, 27 Sports. Lance? Thank you, Pablo. Well, the Bucks' lone NBA title came back in 1971. The last Finals appearance came three years later in 74. Bob Dandridge was on both of those Bucks squads. He knows the elation of winning a title and the despair of finishing second. If I could put this in a drink bottle and let the guys drink up these thoughts or feel the pain ahead of time of losing in the NBA <laughs> finals, I think uh, Phoenix would be in trouble. We will preview Game 3 of the NBA Finals with our in-depth coverage here for the Bucks pregame special coming up in just a few minutes right here on WKOW. After dropping the past two games against the Reds, the Brewers trying to end the first half on a positive note here this afternoon. All-star Brandon Woodruff on the hill for the crew, and he ran into a little bit of trouble in the first. Joey Votto with the RBI single. That was the only run Woodruff allowed over six innings. The crew struggling at the plate of late. They finally get on the board in the sixth inning. Jackie Bradley Jr. with the RBI single to tie it up. Now, the past couple of days haven't just been rough for the offense, but also for Josh Hader. He comes on in the ninth. The Reds get two hits, a walk, and a hit by pitch off of Hader. And the Brewers slide into the All-Star break with a three-game skid as the Reds take it 3-1. to one. And Novak Djokovic adding to his Hall of Fame legacy today. He rallied to beat Matteo Berrettini in five sets to claim the Wimbledon Men's Championship. Djokovic ties Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal by claiming his 20th Grand Slam title. Speaking of titles, Just the amazing. road to the title here for the Bucks. We're hopeful it continues tonight. Again, pregame coverage coming up at 5.30. Yeah, fingers crossed for that, right? Fingers mm -hmm. crossed, fingers, toes, I don't know, rabbit's foot, whatever luck. Yeah. yeah, get out your lucky charms. We need them. Yes, 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 yes. Hey, when it comes to weather, uh, we're going to hang out on the quiet side tonight for the most part. Upper 50s to low 60s, maybe a stray rain shower, and it's going to be on the lighter side. I can't emphasize this enough. Stray. Not everyone will see that. Not everyone will see them into your Monday, even on your Tuesday as well, but there is still that chance. A better chance for more of us to see some of those rain showers and even thunder storms will be starting Wednesday night into Thursday. We climb back into those 80s starting on Tuesday. All right. Stay tuned for our pregame special coming up at 530. We'll see you back here after the game tonight at 10 o'clock.